Today, future doctors and nurses got crucial and critical training on how to respond to a mass casualty incident. The scenes played out were fake, but for the people involved, it felt like a very real experience. NBC4's Elise Changiri has more from Ohio University Heritage College. You can see all of this smoke here. It's one of the scenarios that students are learning about how to take care of patients if they were involved in a bombing. Today we're simulating a couple um, disaster scenarios. We're going to have a mass shooting incident and a bombing incident. Okay. Learning how to respond in those situations best. Just keep breathing. Just keep breathing. Evan Springer plans on going into emergency medicine. He made the decision years ago to follow in his father's footsteps. I thought it was always really cool to, to see him help patients. Um, so it's kind of always been in the back of my head. There's no better thing that I can do personally with my life than to use the knowledge that I have and give back to help people. Today's training for these 60 medical students is crucial for moving forward in the medical field. This is a chance if they're ever in public and one of these events takes place, how they can work with the first responders to treat these victims to try and save lives. And in addition, when they're in the hospital in a couple of years, they'll have an opportunity to know what is being done before victims get to them so that they have an understanding of what's been done and what they'll need to do. She's going to be gone whenever we got someone. Along with Springer, this second year medical student, Robert Young, is grateful for this kind of hands on experience. Just to be prepared for anything, you never really know what will happen. Okay, this really hurts a lot. I get excited about any opportunity to not be in a classroom. You, you know, you're in med school, you've been in a classroom so long, so anything to get hands-on experiences beyond helpful is just the best thing ever. These students still have years before they become physicians. However, I'm being told that the training that they learned today will help them for years to come in their career. Local for you in Dublin, Elise Chingari, NBC4.